Hi and welcome to this helpful hints video with me Wayne from drclean.co.uk. Now I always say that you judge a company not by when things go right but by when things go wrong and how they respond to problems. Because all companies and businesses have problems from time to time and it's how they solve those problems that actually make you want to go back as a customer. When something does go wrong, you have to prove your case that it is not your fault, but the fault of either the manufacturer or the retailer for selling you that product. And that's what today's video is all about, successfully complaining and how to actually prove a case when you've actually got a case to prove. Now, the first thing is when you're complaining about something, when you have a complaint, please don't assume that the company is your enemy. Normally, Reasonable companies who want to stay in business for a long time realise that most of their customers are actually complaining legitimately. They therefore want to sort that out. They don't want bad social media posts, they don't want bad history, and they don't want bad feeling. They want you to come back, if at all possible, as a customer in the future. The company I use for my t-shirts, uh, the logos I have printed on t-shirts, is a company called Clothes to Order. That's Clothes number two, order. And I've always found them exceptionally good in the past. They produce good quality logos and they dispatch very quickly at a reasonable price. Now I use them for both this one, which is my swimmingcyclingrunning.com t-shirt that I use on Swim Cycle Run Coach channel on YouTube, which you can subscribe to here and also subscribe to at the end of the uh, video. And um, I also use them for the Dr. Clean uh, t-shirts that you see here. Now these are two fairly new ones, but I don't use the Dr. Clean ones very regularly, as you'll know. Um, I used one for ironing videos and then washed it. And when I washed it, I've got a bleed from the thread, the black thread around the blue thread in the t-shirt itself. And I don't know if you can see that. I will come close and show you. But there's actually a mark on the t-shirt and I'll come very close and show you because there's a bleed around all of the black in the actual logo itself. Now, when I contacted uh, Clothes to Order, they said, send us a picture and we'll have a look. They had a look and immediately said, this is completely unacceptable. Send it back and we'll replace it. Or we'll give you money back. Um, now, I'll prefer replacements because I've no reason to believe the next one will be the same as this one. But I did have two done at exactly the same time. So I said, right, well, what about the second one that I actually haven't worn yet? Um, and they said, we haven't worn it, therefore there's nothing wrong with it, therefore don't send it back. We're not going to replace that one. That's quite reasonable. I haven't worn it, there's nothing wrong with it, um, and why should they replace it? But as I expect this to be the same batch of thread for the, both t-shirts, I expect to actually have the same problem. And I'd prefer not to have two trips to the post office and two um, postage costs if I am actually going to send them back. So I'm going to show you today how to test for colour fastness in any garment. Now as a dry cleaner, I've seen many colour runs. I've seen colour runs from actually fabric to fabric. I've seen colour runs from thread into fabric. And the manufacturer will hardly ever test just thread. They'll often test a whole garment. They'll often test fabric, but they'll very rarely test thread. So when that does happen, it's unusual. And of course, the, the garment manufacturer is not looking for it. And in this case, I don't think they were looking for it, but their response has been perfect. We just need, I think, to test the other one to save me money and time in sending both back, or if we're lucky, only one back. So we're looking closer at the damaged t-shirt and we can see that there's been a colour run here, 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 and onto the arm there. Um, and it comes from a bleed around the actual logo itself. We'll get a closer look at that logo. So this is the logo itself and you can easily see that the colour has bled into the main fabric around the black effectively. I think it's the black thread only that's actually run. To test for colour fastness, we really just need two clean pieces of cloth that are white um, and some plain water. We're going to start with cold water. I'm going to make a pad of one of the pieces and I'm going to put it under the logo. Um, I'm then going to make another pad with the other piece and I'm going to slightly dampen this. Now you don't want your pad to be too wet, so I'm just going to literally 
touch it in the water and then hold it against the thread. And I'm just holding this so that it can both wet the top and the bottom and we'll see what happens. Leave it a short while, take it away and you can see I've actually got thread marks on that piece of cloth. Um, let's just do that again. This is a brand new piece of cloth, so a kitchen towel. Um, and again, we've got black coming through. Be interesting to see if that happens also underneath. And I think you can see that that's also happened underneath. So we know that this t-shirt is also not safe in terms of just plain cold water. Now when you do this type of test, and I think we've been fairly conclusive about the results there, um, you do have to be aware of the washing instructions. And I use pure cold water from the tap for that particular test. The instructions in this garment say you can go up to 30 degrees. Um, and, and so what I would have done if the first test had failed, um, in other words, I hadn't got a reaction with the thread, um, I would have taken slightly hotter water and tried that because the washing instructions actually allow me to go up to 30 and at 30 the dye may just become more loose than at effectively tap temperature. Now it might be helpful for you to know that the nature of dye is that it tends to start to run when you hit the temperature at which it was set. So if it was set at 40 degrees and you exceed 40 degrees it's going to start to bleed. If it was set at boiling point you're very unlikely to see it bleed below that mark. So nothing really should bleed unless it's a completely non-washable product at tap temperature. Now I've contacted Clothes to Order with a picture of the result that you've seen um, on the kitchen towel. I expect them to immediately replace because it's not worth their while messing about if they expect something to be a bleed. And they've already said they'll replace the other one, it's completely unacceptable. I don't blame Close to Order for this. I expect them to be a good company and replace it. And if that's the case, I'm happy to do business with them in the future. And you should be happy to do business with people who you have problems with, but the problem is resolved. Resolving a problem is just part of business. It shouldn't be an emotional thing, it should just be, this has happened, we're going to solve it. Remember, don't get emotional, don't get angry, because the law is always on your side. Let's assume for the moment Close to Order hadn't been a reasonably good company and replaced the t-shirt immediately, I would have simply gone to the small claims court where I would have undoubtedly won. And you would win if you have a reasonable claim against someone and actually take it there. So no business wants to end up in a small claims court because it's time and money they can ill afford to actually take. So if you remain reasonable, you remain calm, you will get the right result for you. Over the next few weeks and months we're going to completely redo all of our ironing videos and helpful hint videos and also product videos. Um, we've got new microphone systems so the sound quality should be a hell of a lot better than it has been in the past and our videos hopefully will be more help to you. So keep watching this channel. Remember, subscribe to this one. If you wish, subscribe to Swim Cycle Run Coach and keep well. Thanks for watching.